this is question number five and uh, they have given some details here please read the details by pausing this video and then we'll continue okay so they're saying that the particle p is being thrown up with an initial velocity of 12 meters per second and particle q is 7 meter per second and we know that the deceleration will be downwards 10 meters per second square and we can write it minus 10 yeah because it is opposite to the motion which we have considered to be positive upwards positive downwards negative so i have drawn a smaller line for 7 meter per second particle y because mass is not important in kinematics so it will reach lesser height and the one which was thrown with a higher velocity will reach a higher height okay now what does the a part say find the set of values for t where the particle is traveling in opposite direction so both were thrown at the same time that means till this height they are in same direction right by the time this reaches here the p particle will reach somewhere here because it was thrown with a higher velocity right so after that this particle q will start going down and this will still keep going up and this is where the directions are opposite so we have to find the time this q particle will take to reach at this level and the time when the p particle takes to reach its highest position and that will be the time difference or time duration or set of values of t that's what they're asking where they will be in opposite direction after that this will also turn back and both of them will be falling down so they will be in same direction so now let's try to find out the time so we know that at these positions the velocity final velocity for both of them was zero so we can find the time by v equal to u plus a t this formula so uh, for q zero is the final velocity seven was the initial velocity and plus acceleration is in opposite direction minus 10 and time we want to find out so uh, it will become 7 will go this way equal to minus 10t and um, minus 7 over minus 10 is t so t comes out to be 0 0.7 seconds <clears throat> this particle q took 0 0.7 seconds to reach at the top and then it started coming down back but he was still going up and this is the time they are in opposite direction so let's find for p so v is 0 again u is 12 this time plus minus 10 acceleration and time so minus 12 equal to minus 10 t so t comes out to be minus 12 over 10 that is 1.2 seconds so in uh, the time interval from 0 0.7 seconds till 1.2 seconds they were in opposite direction i have not written equal mark here keep in mind i have not written equal mark why because at 0 0.7 second q was stationary it was not moving in opposite direction so i can't write equal similarly with 1.2 seconds let's go to part two in part two, they're saying that there is a certain instant when P and Q are such that three times the height of P. So let's say it is somewhere here. This is the height of P at a certain position and it is called HP. It is three times it is equal to the A times HQ. So suppose HQ is here. So eight times this will be three times of this. Obviously HQ is lower hp is higher so for height we can use the another kinematic equation which is uh, s equal to ut plus half at square and we'll find the time when they are at such situation that a 3 hp equal to 8 hq 
So let's use it for P first. So distance is HP. For P, the initial velocity is 12. Time, we don't know. So we write 12 T. And plus half, acceleration is minus 10, and T squared. That comes out to be 12 T minus 5 T squared. Okay? Similarly, H cube will be 7 T minus 5 T squared by the same method what we did here. So now we have to use the formula they've given us 3 P equal to 8 H cube. So let's do it. 3 times 12 T minus 5 T squared is equal to 8 times H cube. 7 T minus 5 T squared. And this time and this time are exactly same. We are throwing them at the same time. So the time passed is same for both. So we don't have to worry about their different times. So it becomes 36 T minus 15 T squared equal to 56 T minus 40 T squared. Let's rearrange. So uh, this 40 will come to the other side. 40 T squared minus 15 T squared is one. It will not change sign, but 40 will change sign. Next, 56 also change sign. 56 T plus 36 T. This one equal to zero. So that comes out with 25 T square minus 20 T equal to zero. And this becomes a quadratic equation where we can take T as common. So we'll be left with 25 T minus 20 nothing equal to zero. T is equal to zero. Yes, that's correct. The heights at T time equal to zero. Both the heights are zero. So three times zero is equal to eight times zero, which perfectly makes sense. Second will be this. 25 T minus 20 equal to zero. That gives us T equal to 20 over 25, which is four over five. We can write 0 0.8 seconds if you want. 0 0.8 seconds. Second one, which we actually need is 0 0.8 seconds. After 0 0.8 seconds, the height, heights of the two particles was with this relationship, 3P equal to 8 HQ. All right. So now at this time, there, what is the question? Question they're saying, find the velocity P and Q at this instant. Now we can find the velocities. And we know the velocity is V equal to U plus 80. So let's use for P first. So V will be U is 12 minus, plus, minus 10 and time we know now is 0 0.8. And that comes out to be 12 minus 8 which is 4 meters per second. Let's talk about Q. V equal to initial velocity for it is 7 plus minus 10 times 0 0.8. That comes out to 7 minus 8, which is minus 1 meters per second. So they are traveling in opposite direction at that, that instant. And this, these are their velocities. This is upwards. This is downwards.